Okay, well, like I promised yesterday, today I'm going to be looking at what comes inside this big blue box. Now, obviously this is what comes in for my my vet monitor that I have hooked onto my chest right now. And like I said yesterday, you've already seen two of the major components, obviously. But inside this, you can actually see how everything goes together. There's three electrodes that go onto the heart, and then they plug into the little box. I also, inside of here, I have quite a few batteries. I'm not even going to bother to count, but there's like quite a few. A little phone holder, and directions, the bag to mail it back in, I'm going to leave the address down, you can kind of look stuff up on here, and the electrode pads, which if you've never seen these, oh, an elect, uh, electrode, <laughs> uh, alcohol wipes, which I'm going to be needing here in a second, and if you've never seen these, Put the camera down so I'm not shaking so much. On these little pads, there's a, it's almost like a little rubbery gel. It's, it's solid, but it's rubbery, like, in consistency. And then all this is is like a 3M pad. And you stick this to your chest, the electrode piece goes in here, and that's all good and well. Now, I'm actually going to cut for just a second, and I'm going to prep everything so that way it's good to chip. Well, actually, before I do that, I could probably change, I'll change up the batteries when I'm done doing the electrodes. That'll make more sense. So there's the little box on the table. Right there, and you can see the green light is still blinking. Now they said to change the batteries even if the batteries aren't red yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'll cut back in when I'm about to attach the leads. Okay, I've got everything set up, so I'm going to go ahead and take off all my electrodes that I have. Actually, gonna untangle these wires a little bit too. There we go. Let's see here. Huh, that's weird how the red one goes lower. So we've got the red one. black one which goes right over top of it and the white one so we'll start with the white one <clears throat> ouch Some things actually hurt a little bit when you pull them off okay so that one gets the white one Move the camera for just a second, and everything's gonna fall. Yay! Oh, I gotta do this different. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show it or not. Wait one. Ouch! It's actually pulling hair out when it comes out. That's always fun. And the black one. Okay. 
And last but not least, that red one. And the, like I said, the red one is right there, and we are all back up and running. I just have to check my little doobly doo. Okay, everything seems to be okay. And that's pretty much it. Oh, the batteries. So, to do that, we just open up the side cover here, and easy peasy, you take out batteries. Take out a battery. That's why I only had one. I was trying to figure out why I had just this single battery in here, now I know. So, if I'm not mistaken, it goes in this way. And it'll cycle through, it beeps. And I don't feel right. There we go. And now all that can be taken care of. Oh, there we go. Now you can actually see it work. It will hold. Oh, it's trying to pair. That's what it's doing. Oh, let's see here. One, two, three. There it goes. So it's reconnected. And here in just a second, there it goes, it beeped, and now it's transmitting. And on the phone you'll see a green line go across, and that should be everything. There it goes, that rapid flash. And that should be it. Yep, that's everything. I mean, it's not a hard device to use. It's just kind of annoyance when you have to take and change everything. But, like I said before, hopefully this will get me some answers. So, with that, I'm actually going to cut this video kind of short this morning. And until next time, guys. I can't get my thumb in shot. There we go. Have fun.